Right, chapter 10, and we are meeting the tree folk. So we learn that Kira has now been living in the treetops for the past four years. So it's been four years since the volcano was destroyed by the takers. Um, and much of what we know is just that she has been living um, with the person who rescued her and his family. So a boy probably around her age um, and his parents. And they live, their whole community lives in the tops of very tall trees. Um, she mentioned 200 feet up above the ground. So they build little huts at the top of the trees and that's where they live. And she talked a lot in the beginning of the chapter about um, how she doesn't really leave the hut. She stays in the tree um, tops most of the time. And her job is kind of taking care of the hut, cleaning, cooking, that sort of thing. And she doesn't like to venture out, um, which is very different from the way she used to be because she was one of the people who went on the outside. She was very daring. And now she does nothing but stays in the tree hut for most of her time. Um, she did talk a lot about memories from before, um, and how she doesn't like to think about it. So she hides a lot of her feelings and emotions and she doesn't let herself think about, um, her old life and her family and everything that happened, um, which is not a good thing. And, um, she tries not to, um, talk to neighbors or their community is set up so that's not really the way things are so they keep to themselves they take care of themselves again complete opposite of the life that she grew up in um, she lived in a community where everyone helped each other and they all worked together and they were all very peaceful together and so she's living this life that's the complete opposite of what she's known before um, so from there we get into kind of a description of what it's like to live in the treetops. Um, and the, the only thing that I, the image that kept popping into my head was, um, if you watch Into the Spider-Verse, that one scene where, um, Miles is escaping with Peter Parker from the lab and, um, Doc Ock is chasing them and they're going through the trees and that's where Miles learns how to swing. Watch Spider-Verse, it's really good. Um, so that's kind of what kept popping into my head as they're talking about all these people who just kind of swing through the trees, kind of like Spider-Man, um. So that's basically what they do. They live by climbing through the trees and some of them are really good at it. And, um, we learned about a group of people who, um, were hunters and what they do is they swing through trees and they have hooks and they have different people with different jobs. And they basically are hunting animals down on the ground, um, from the trees and then they swing down and then they fly out of the trees and they, that's how they capture their, um, different animals to eat and they um, she was watching a group of them track a boar which is a type of a pig so they were basically getting a pig to eat and that's how they get their food um, the whole thing is pretty crazy um, again just the idea of living in a treetop 200 feet above the ground is insane to me. Um, I'm afraid of heights, so that would definitely not be okay with me. Um, and then she talked about um, Luan, the boy that she um, is now part of her family, who she's living with him and his parents. Um, he rarely goes on the ground, which is kind of crazy. He's kind of like a sloth. So um, we learn that that's the situation she's in right now she's been living there for four years and so it still feels weird to her um but she's getting more and more used to it and that is her life now um and then of course we learn the chapter ends with her um hitting a, a branch or something that was a tripwire so people have net set up and she was captured and we don't really know what that means are there bad people in the treetops are there people who do this for a certain reason so I'm going to keep reading because why is she being captured <laughs>